Hi, thanks for watching this video by Hawkwatch International. My name is Steve. I'm the Conservation Science Director at Hawkwatch International, and I'm going to take you along on some of our Golden Eagle nest monitoring and research that we do out in the West Desert. Now, I'm standing out in the West Desert right now. It's a very interesting landscape. Uh, it covers the western one-third of Utah, and it's characterized by mountain ridges that run mostly north and south, and valleys between those mountain ridges that are generally covered with shrubs and, and grasslands. And golden eagles really like this type of habitat. Uh, they can find their nesting areas on the cliffs that are found in the mountains, and then they can find their prey out in these open shrub areas, such as you see behind me. Um, Hawkwatch has been involved in monitoring golden eagle nests uh, for over a decade out in this landscape. And from the nest monitoring, we can get some sense of how the birds are doing based on how many pairs uh, decide to lay eggs, how many young uh, are fledged that year. And more recently, we've been involved in banding and tracking studies where we can actually see where the birds are going and get some sense of the threats they face. Uh, for example, the eagles from the West Desert and the West in general, unfortunately, face a number of man-made threats. Uh, a number of our birds that we've put transmitters on have ended up electrocuted, uh, hit by cars when they're feeding on roadkill, and other uh, issues related to human causes of mortality. So this is really important for us to help us understand the issues and the threats that the golden eagles face, and then we can work with managers to help address some of these and help these birds uh, do better out in these landscapes. of Salt Lake and as you can see fairly near the Great Salt Lake in the Salt Flats. Um, quite a bit of dirt road driving, um, solitude, and quite beautiful landscapes. Nest monitoring typically involves viewing nests from a safe distance. So here we're well over a half mile from Golden Eagle Nest on these cliffs up here. And we're using a window mount scope to view the nest and see if there's anybody home. Uh, again, you know, a lot of this work is done solo, so we often have our our office set up in our front seat here. We have some nest photos that we're looking at and our field gear and notebooks and other things. So yeah, nest viewing is just a matter of being patient. Um, sometimes you can see right into the nest and you can make a determination or you see a bird when you show up an eagle and you, you can watch what that bird does and, and determine the nest status. But quite often, especially early in the nest season, like right now it's end of March, um, the, the females might be incubating and we just have to sit and wait and hope that we see a head move or a tail or we see the male fly in and see some type of feeding or reaction. So it's definitely a game of patience. <laughs> Active nest here. I'm going to try to show you what that looks like through the scope. Here's another one of our active nests. This one actually has a camera that was placed for the nesting season so that we can get motion 
activated photos or timed photos depending on how the settings were set up uh, but we can see oh nesting season prey deliveries nestling growth survivorship and all that good information So just taking it for a little walk with me and just finished up the surveys for the day because we work so far from the office and a lot of remote landscapes we generally just keep working until we run out of daylight and then we just camp wherever we end up on public land try to stay away away from any nests so that we give them their space and then in the morning we just start right back up when the sun's up so yeah you can just see the sun going down over here and got a little campsite up here where we'll sleep for the night. All right, well, morning. Um, sun's just coming up out here in the desert. Uh, I'm sitting in the truck right now. It was a bit windy overnight and still a little bit windy right now. Um, pretty common for out here. Um, have a little bit of coffee, a little bit of breakfast, uh, and then I'll get going. Um, first thing in the morning, it can be really good viewing, especially if you've set yourself up so that you have nest to view that the sun is shining into and they can really illuminate and reveal birds. So we try to take advantage of um, kind of the, the, the orientation of the nests and plan our visits so that we're looking at nests when we have really good views with that sun assistance. So I'll get going, talk to you later. We're driving towards our next territory. Uh, right now it's getting a little bit overcast, which is actually ideal for nest monitoring. Uh, if it's full sunlight and there's no breeze you can get these thermal developments which the eagles obviously like uh, but it can make it really hard to view things through the scope basically get this, this shimmer from the heat that makes a nest or anything you're looking at through the scope look like it's moving and so we can't really tell if we're seeing a bird if we're just seeing that effect from the, the warm air so uh, we'll see what we can see at this next territory so just wanted to give you another example of the scope view. So here we have an active nest. Zoom in a bit. You can just make out some of the bird's feathers. This is a wingtip sticking up. You can see some of the feathers ruffling in the wind because it is quite breezy out. Another incubating female. Thanks for watching this video. We also thank our supporters and funders, including the U.S. Army Dugway Proving Ground. Dugway Proving Ground has been supporting Golden Eagle research in the West Desert for over 10 years. We also thank the Bureau of Land Management, Utah Division of Wildlife Resources, and our many members and donors. To become a member or support Hawkwatch, please go to our website at www.hawkwatch.org.